Now, this particular part of the question is quite involved. It involves a number of stages of thought. And I would definitely encourage you to draw sketches as you go along. Anyway, the question is that the first collision between A and B occurred at a distance 4A from the wall. And the balls collide again T seconds after the first collision. And what we've got to do is show that T equals 112A over 15U. So to go about this question then, we've got the initial sketch. We've got the initial speeds of A and B directly after the first collision. And I've set the time t equal to zero at this point here. So in order to find the total time when after, after b moves, hits the wall, rebounds and then hits a again, in order to find that total time, I'm going to look at the next stage of motion. We know that b leaves A with a speed of 5U upon 4. So it's going to take, let's say, T1 seconds to reach the wall. So I'm going to need to find out the time when B hits the wall. We'll call it T1. We'll call it T1. And during this time T1, A will have also travelled a particular distance. Let's say it's this distance to here. And then what, what I'm going to do is find the time it takes for A and B to collide over this next section. So if we had another sketch, A is going to move a certain distance and B is going to move a certain distance back. But I'm going to call that time that it takes by considering their relative speed time T2. So to get this total time t, it's going to be t1 plus t2. So I hope that's given you some idea anyway of how I'm going to go about this. And uh, you might at this stage even want to pause the video and try working this out. So if you do want to pause the video, just I'll give you a few moments just to do that and then we'll work through the problem. And you can come back and check how you're getting on or your solution. OK. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see. We first of all need to work out the time T1, the time it takes B to hit the wall. So that will be our first intro. We can just say that time taken for B to hit the wall. OK, time taken for B to hit the wall, we'll call it T1 then. And T1 equals, well because they're moving at constant speeds, OK, time is equal to the distance divided by the speed. So the distance is 4A and we need to divide that then by the speed, the speed of B, 5U over 4. And if we were to say times top and bottom of this fraction by 4, we'd end up with 4a times 4, which is 16a. And that's divided by 5u over 4 times 4, just gives us 5u. So you've got 16a over 5u is the time it takes. Now, during that time, a will have moved a certain distance. This distance directly below here. If we were to project that line down to here, then that distance covered by A would be this part here. So we need to get that distance. So we can say that the distance covered by A, OK, during the t this time, let's just put during this time. Quite a lot of intros, OK, but I think it helps to keep it fairly clear what we're doing. So what's that distance going to be? Well, distance equals speed times time. We know that A was moving with a speed of U over 4, so that's U over 4, 
multiplied by the time. The time was T1 that we've just found out here, 16A over 5U. And if we work that one out, we end up with those 4s cancelling, or well, 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 16 is 4, so you end up with a time of 4A, because the U's cancel as well. So you get 4A, all divided by 5. So that's the distance covered. Let's just mark that in here. That distance then is 4a over 5 from there to there. So that means that we can work out the distance between a and b at this time. So the distance between a and b is going to be equal to, let's just put a and b, is going to equal 4a minus 4 fifths a, 4a minus 4 fifths a. And if you do that, that is going to be 20 fifths minus 4 fifths, that's going to be 16 fifths, 16 fifths then a. So that's our distance between here, 16 fifths a, just mark that in there, okay? Now, we need to work out the time it takes T2 for these two to collide again because we know that B left the wall with a speed of U over 2. We found this out earlier in the uh, question. So to work out the time T2, we can consider the relative speed of approach here. That relative speed of approach is going to be 3 quarters U, a quarter U plus a half U. So we can imagine that as if one sphere or one particle here was stationary, the other is approaching it at a speed of 3 quarters u and covering this distance, 16a over 5. So therefore we can get the time taken, time taken, okay, t2, okay, for a and b to collide again, okay? That time t2 is going to equal the distance, 16a over 5, divided by the speed, the relative speed, which we've said is 3 quarters u, 3u over 4. And if we times top and bottom here by, say, 20, a value that 4 and 5 go into, we can then just cancel the 5 into the 20 goes 4 times and the 4 goes into the 20 5 times. And we get 16a times 4 giving us 64a and then 3u times 5 is 15u. So that's the time t2. So to get the total time big T here we can say that therefore big T equals T1 plus the time T2. We know the time T1, it was 16A over 5U, 16A over 5U, and we know the time T2, it was 64A over 15U, 64A over 15U. And we can turn these into fifteenths by multiplying top and bottom of this fraction by 3. So you end up with 48a over 15u. And we can add it to the 64a over 15u, giving us that final total that we had to show, 112a all divided by 115u. So, quite an involved problem then. and. Uh, I certainly, as I said earlier, feel that we need to draw these sketches and build it up in these sections here. So if you were able to do that, well done, because I think it is very tricky. Okay.